Wooey's eleven. And she loved making things. She loved making all kinds of things since she was about three. Her parents didn't buy her dolls or clothes for birthday presents. They gave her paint, glue, scissors and pieces of wood. Ruby wanted to be an engineer. She made a brilliant toy racing car six months ago. And I'm going to make my father's racing car the world one day, she told her grandfather. Last month, Ruby was walking past the town's fire station when she saw a poster on the wall. It said, under 12 bike race, 21 kilometers, Sunday, June the 18th, email widget.lack at met.au or phone 933-572 to find out more. Ruby knew her bicycle wasn't fast enough to win a race. It was also too small for her now. Perhaps I can make a new one, she thought. I'll have a lot mess of land. It's in the carpet under the stairs, asked the mother. You never use this old motorbike part to in your garage, she said. I will have some of them to help make my new bike. She asked other people in her family for different things too. And soon the garden was full of pieces of metal and plastic. This is great, she thought. I just need a second wheel now. She decided to go and ask the new family in a flat on the third floor. Perhaps they could help her. She ran upstairs and knocked on the door. What do you want? said the girl who opened it. Have you got an old bicycle, Will? Ruby said. I need one so I can ride and end the twelfth race. No, I haven't, the girl said. Her name was Victoria Rich. But I'm going to win my race. My brilliant silver bicycle is the fastest bike in town. Now please go away. I'm playing piano. And Victoria Rich closed the door. Well, told Ruby, she wasn't very friendly. Ruby's grandfather phoned her that evening. Ruby told him about the unfriendly girl and about the wheel that she still needed. I'll come and see you tomorrow, he said. I'll bring you a wheel and something else will help. Don't worry, we'll make a brilliant bike for you too. There you are. I said, when you arrive to the wheel the next morning, and this banner is for you. I have had it for 40 years. It's very special. It can fix everything. Ruby took this banner carefully and turned it over and over in her hand. It's a brilliant present. And I use it a lot, and sure, she said quietly. Thanks, Grandpa. They started to work, and they worked all day until the bike was ready. Sometimes the little old plastic piece fell off 
and Ruby had to stop and go back and fetch it. But Ruby always had the spanner in her pocket. It could fix any problem. On the day of the race, Ruby and her family arrived at the starting line early. About 50 children from the town were already there. Ruby suddenly saw Victoria, who was sitting on her beautiful bike. She had a big smile on her face. Victoria looked at Ruby's bike and laughed. Ha 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 ha! Ruby's grandfather put his arm around Ruby's shoulder and whispered, Remember, your bike is brilliant too. And the race started. The first six kilometers around the lake were easy. The next five kilometers through the wood it were more difficult. And four of the children decided to stop. The next nine kilometers over the hills and past the farm were very hard work. And the other more children were too tired to cycle anymore. The ruby didn't stop. And more and more children stopped and more and more parts of Ruby's bike fell off. But with her special spanner, Ruby could fix anything. When Ruby was only one kilometer from the end, the Gloria was only about 20 meters in front of her. Ruby was very tired. I'm not going to stop. I am going to finish this race. And Victoria may win, as she thought. But my bike is brilliant too. Suddenly, that kangaroo hopped across the road just in front of them. Victoria nearly fell off. But she was so surprised. Oh, oh, ah. Her back wheel started wobbling very badly. So she got off to look at it. Wow, I might win now, Ruby thought. But she raced past the Victoria. The Victoria looked so angry and sad that Ruby turned her back round and cycled back it again. I can fix your bike with my special spanner, Ruby said. Will you let me take a minute? Don't worry, you're very kind, Victoria said. I'm sorry for being so unfriendly. I hope you can back win this race. That sounds like a great idea, Ruby said and smiled. That it's fine now. Wow. Victoria and Ruby got back on their brilliant bikes and circled together to the finish line. Hurrah! When they crossed it, Ruby waved the spanner in the air, and her grandfather clapped and shouted, Well done! One day, Ruby, you said that special spanner is going to help you to make the fastest racing car in the world. I know, Ruby answered. <laughs>